One, two, three, four, five. Everybody with the figgies, come on, let's ride. Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. We have a WWE massive action figure unboxing. You already know, my friends. Let's get it. It's time, my friends. We got some brand new figgies landing in hot today. And right here, yeah, we got to get to some exclusives, man. We haven't found them in the wild yet. And we got some Ultimate Editions exclusive to Amazon. We got some more Ultimate Editions, build the figures We got a whole bunch of stuff going on, mainly Elites primarily, without a doubt. There might be one basic. If there is, yeah, we might throw them in that basic thing. Because the only thing we're looking for is the Ultimate Edition, bringing some pure heat within the future custom fix. Ups. Not this one, but once we get into the further ones, it's going to make sense why the Big Red Machine should have been landing in with the... What the... <laughs> What am I looking at here? Muscle bro, shout out to my brother. He ended up bringing in a very strange figgy without a doubt. But you know what? I'll still take this. We're going to take this off because originally it didn't come with the figure. He's just messing with us, man. It did come with some accessories though, which it looks like we got. Oh yeah, we got some ultimate. It was, who is that? Ultimate. Okay, that's ultimate warrior. But it looks to be apparently in the later days. Once the man grew the grace, there we have it. We got interchangeable hands. We're going to get two mic open with the big red machine. We got to get a gloved one and also just a regular skin tone with it all, my friend. So there you have it. The title, this one was part of it. If you guys are curious, like, bro, it's a nice looking belt. I should include that with it. No, dude, check this out, you guys. We have the Tag Team Championship Gold bringing in from early good days, man. This is talking about when it was Raw, SmackDown. There was a brand split and two teams weren't carrying the same titles. This is it, my friends. Big Red Machine 2. Really nice to see this, you guys. This is the very first time that I've gotten my hands on this. And we got to compare it. We got to see what that Decade of Domination Big Red Machine is going to look alongside with him. Because after all, it is the competition and the one that's going to determine as to who's going to be sitting in the figgy shelf. Eye to eye. We got Mass Kane. We have Unmasked. Now, biggest differences you're going to notice is two. Obviously, the head scan, right? Because different head scan. We got the man right here with a pre molded unremovable even though it does look removable scan and then also the arms they've been upgraded it looks like they're using the brock lesnar style of arms right here on the older one you can see that they were a lot thinner a lot just different from what we're seeing plus you cannot forget them knee pads my friends for year after year and after the fourth final release and i'm going to call it the final release because from what i'm seeing in the community people are talking about that this is the best one yet that they've put out so far so i I do like it. Not that I don't, especially when you get down to the up top part of it all, you guys. Look at that red mask, dude. Stitch work coming down to a T, starting out from bottom, working the way even through the actual hairpiece. If you move the hairpiece around, you can see how all that molding and tooling still continues through it. You can see the mask, the way that it does come through, and it straps in through the backside. So really Really nice upgrade here, right here, especially when you're talking about the actual head scan. Once you go further into it, I don't know if some people are going to agree with this. I know prior fix-ups, we've done this in the past, but looking at this with the double-jointed arms, one thing that I actually would love to do, you guys, because I know that upcoming Brock Lesnar, I believe it's Elite Series 96. That one's got the small arm syndrome, so when that one ends up landing, I'm going to use this double-jointed elbow feature that we're getting with Kane with that. So definitely stay tuned, man. Turn on that notification bell and drop a like if you guys want to see more figgies being unboxed in this video i'm telling you there's a lot going on this is only a fraction of what we're going to be seeing and i'm also getting some other really good ideas that we could do apart from that fix up the head scan too i mean without a doubt right we got the new mold we got the new tooling so i would love to see how the unmask again you guys got to come back man i can't wait muscle bro again really appreciate you landing in right there with the big Red Machine, little title right there on the side. You guys can both hold it. Let's bring this one up next because right here, this one, you guys, I don't know how you guys ended up doing with that, but for the whole pre-order on those Amazon exclusives, yeah, man, it didn't work out. Well, actually, it is still scheduled to be released later on this month, but instead, we had to take a different approach, and we're going to find out if it's worth it because the sweet chin, oh, yes, yes right here at its best, and the fan takeover line 
Ultimate Edition, Shawn Michaels. Come on, boys, let's do it. Din 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 din. Ah, ah, not your boy toy. Ultimate Edition. Cool, cool, cool. I like it. Like the scans. We're also gonna get in the entrance gear with it. We're gonna get interchangeable hands. The ones that are on the figure will be mic open, and then the ones that we can swap it out will be the closed fist on the back end right there. Check it out, man. Determination at its best. Now, if you guys are wondering why there's no description, because normally you'll see the description listed right here. This is actually based off the UK, so now we can go ahead and celebrate accordingly, man. Look at that, man. He's got all them damn fireworks lighting up, and he's not even coming out of the package. Of course he is, man. Man, this is a figgy unboxing. Whole purpose of this video and these figgy hauls is to get them out of the package, let them breathe, and finally unveil the Shawn Michaels right here that everybody wanted. Or is it though? Because I'm going to ask you guys, is this a specific figure that you guys were looking to add on to your UE edition? Look at the backdrop too. I'm going to show you guys the backdrop because you can actually see the WHF fam right there just screaming off their top of their lungs, man. Like, yeah, we got WHF, huge figgy haul, and we got Michaels to bring a little charismatic enigma to the love of it all you guys here's the pants check these out we got slacks and the other thing too is that they're not rubber you guys these are actually fabric the whole way that they do come together you can see on the back end it is held together by velcro i do want to slap these on i want to see how they're going to play out but the main purpose of this pickup is mainly due to just getting that ruthless aggression that series basic 100 it's got to get converted if you guys follow my good brother gizmo 305 he ended up putting it up on the page this past weekend and i cannot wait you guys i cannot wait to get that fixed up oh and actually that second package that we're going to get into it's going to all tie in with the reason for that pickup you guys here's the entrance vest here's the little piece that brings it all together now obviously it is an illusion right because it's kind of showing you that it's supposed to bring it by the silver pieces but this it's its own separate piece and it's undone similar to a wwe title belt right there it is meeting together on the sides and again we are going to put it on but let's check out Shawn michaels right there it's best. here it is the boyhood dream it is coming true and we also have a little bison hat man check this out if you guys want to bring some of your street fighter figgies with the fight slap it on buddy because we got Shawn michaels bringing that pure nostalgia love man this is so awesome now, i actually did ended up ordering a couple mainly due to wanting to do the series basic uh, 100 fix up and then two obviously i would love to still have michaels displayed with all this entrance gear so that way we can get the whole classic look for it man this is sick now the torso yeah i'm not gonna say i agree with it i mean i do see that they were trying some different because again it is based off a different time frame and i know that the series four did have a more thin clean cut which i actually believe that that one would look better on this as opposed to this right i mean after all that's usually how the cookie crumbles checking out the tattoo right here on the left arm you can see that the paint apps were incorporated i know with the wrestlemania elite they got away from it so them bringing it back to it yeah i like that man of course i mean after all it would definitely be undone if they didn't do it up the way that he wore it that night now the rest of the tights you'll see all them broken hearts man that's what Shawn michaels was good at he was good at breaking the hearts unfortunately there was no success at the end of the road but you know what man still chilling over there in texas he's got his legs up guys in great shape too i mean to this day he has managed to keep that boyd ho dream in mixed in with it now the kick pads right here this is what we're going to have to do once we get that whole conversion the main primary change that's going to occur it's going to start out with the knee pads again once you guys see it it's going to make more sense as to where we're going with it i just can't wait man because then we'll finally be able to have that triple threat match that you guys wanted and who's that are you talking about i'm talking about wrestlemania man it was triple h it was the crippler and they were in the middle of the squared circle to determine who was going to be crowned the world heavyweight champion obviously not when he wore this gear this and we're talking about later guys come on man once you guys see the fix up the story is going to make a little bit more sense now for the chaps it is definitely a struggle there isn't a doubt i'm going to definitely tell you to go ahead and undo the velcro just because it's going to give you the better end result without having to rip any of it slipping it on there all you got to do is come through the back end start with one leg don't try to do both because i do think if you try to do both you might get some or some kind of tear that you might not be looking for after all man that's the part of the game slipping it in getting it out coming back and saying yeah yeah, buddy. Sweet chin music all the way to the WHF fam until we finally get the left side. And how we do it, I don't know, man. Honestly, I'm just thinking of the stories as we're putting on the gear. <laughs> 
<laughs> and you know what? It's working, you guys. We love it. WHF squad loves it. After all, if we were to put this on here, right, in pure silence, then you'd be like, dude, what is this man doing? I'll tell you one thing that I'm doing is putting on the assless chaps, right? Because that's what it is. Back in the day, actually to this day, if you see some of them Harley riders, this is kind of like the pants style that you're going to be looking at on that motorcycle. Here it is, you guys, with it on there. You can actually see a lot of similarities from the upper half when it comes to the entrance vest mixed in right here with the actual pants. You got the solid white boots right there. Really nothing going on with paint apps apart from the double hinge right there and the toe articulation. Man, let's do it. We're going to go ahead and pose them. No different as to how we're seeing it on the packaging. As far as the fireworks, we're going to go ahead and improvise and we're going to make our own. Ready? Yeah! <laughs> Look at this, you guys. So nice to see this. Now, again, we are going to get into this one because these two are going to actually tie together. But before that can happen, we got one package over here behind the big red machine. Kane, we're going to move you, buddy. I don't want to knock you down. I definitely want to keep you up because it's going to look so damn good once we get all the figgies on box. Brand new, flowing straight through with one more. Now, this one, ringside exclusive, you guys, right here. Only way to get it is hopping on there. I'll put a link in the description. As you guys know, discount code HERO, it's going to save you 10% on that NWO. Check this out. We got the Hulkster. Hulkamaniacs are running wild in Ultimate Edition, Regular Elite, Ringside Exclusive. <laughs> The list, you guys, it keeps on going. Now, I am going to do a full in-depth figure review on this. So if you guys are curious, like, are you going to open this? Yes, we got to open it. We're already putting it up right here to do the full-on review. But this one, very special without a doubt, and one that's going to require its own individual attention. Now, this last one, you guys, oh, this is a biggie. This is a biggie from, again, Ringside Collectibles, dude. Always bringing some damn figgy heat right here with all y'all, man. Let's get this rolling because we got a whole lot of paper <laughs> but that's not what we ended up ordering you guys now we ordered another one we ordered one more we got how many count let's, let's bring the count total because we got a lot going on without a doubt we got two we got three we got four oh come on big dog you're getting too many man well that's the thing when you're talking about roman reigns right the tribal chief the head of the household how else would you do it, right? Now, if you guys did miss the whole figure review, you guys have to go on the channel. This figure right here. Actually, both of these, top notch for Series 14, right? Let's do a big dot. Hoorah! Now, unfortunately, you're only going to get one hoorah today. But for those that are stopping by for the first time, again, hit that subscribe button. Drop a like. You don't want to end up with some sweet chin right here like the Big Red Machine. Let's get it. Yeah! You thought we forgot about the last one. No, I wanted to save this one right here for the true WHF OGs. And if you did end up staying for this one, let me know in the comments. We'll go ahead and pin that. And then right here, build a figure, right? One more dummy, but that's not why I wanted to show you this. Because in order to redo that whole Series 100 with that 5 o'clock shadow, if you can't find the basic, here we have it, buddies. Now we can do it. Dun, 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 dun.